Are there any other little psychological pressures or like stress things that you throw into the goalkeepers during the sessions that maybe shows you more of a picture of what they are and what their mental makeup is? Firstly, the ability to have competition within the session. So whether that's set by the goalkeeper coach or whether it's set within the group of keepers, you know, often a lot of young aspiring professionals are extremely competitive. That's why they're playing at this, on the stage that they're playing. So sometimes that happens naturally within the session, but any time you've got some layer of competition, that's huge. The other side is that you do start to see big differences in goalkeepers when you start to work on scenarios that are actually realistic to the game. And what I mean by that is the game's throwing up more and more opportunities that are happening between the penalty spot and the six-yard box or, or slightly inside the six-yard box. So as soon as you put goalkeepers in scenarios where it becomes more not only realistic, but where they have to be braver, you start to see the differences in the goalkeepers that actually have that mentality and willingness to actually keep the ball at the back of the net and those who don't. So it's actually the environments that we're constantly putting them in every day where it's not only one realistic, but two where they have to make, hopefully make saves that are actually changing the momentum of games. And have they got the, not only the psychological edge, but have they got the personality to come up with that one big save? 